Hi guys, welcome back. Exciting movie. Uh, dog and boy. Let's see what happens. What? My news. My fucking. I can't talk to the dog. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry guys. Intermission before we start the movie. Just to see. Which. Sure, an analog. You ever, guys ever try to eat an ant on a log? Not me. I only tried it in this game. Not even in a different game, I never tried it. Alright, talk to me, boy. I seem to have inherited the admiration of a creature. It appears to have followed me here from my homeland. I have a deal for you. It's a very special deal that is only available for a limited time. I will sell you this very valuable nutrition group. For a mere twenty dollars. However, I would only sell you one if you can possess one. I had nothing changed, but fine, I'll freaking do it. I don't care. Cause maybe I'll find another dog and that'll be cool. So basically nothing happened. Woo, how's your week? You guys <coughs> watch the podcast? Maybe. That's cool. I had a great week. I had a great week. Okay, so escaping is pretty much out of the question. Time to do this like a real man. Powerful. That's me. Alright, we're going up, we're going down. It's pretty exciting. Alright. So, are these guys? Let's try this. Yeah. I'm so fast. Oh, this is new. Great tube. Oh, dude, am I gonna get in? To the skate shop? Huh. Oh, you must be interested in joining the petty thugs. Well, you're late, but GC hasn't started yet. Everyone knows that getting here in the nick of time is the first rule of gooning, so get to it. Well, I thought I'd have to transform into a goon first, so I guess I'll just do that. Find an enemy really quick and transform into a goon. Oh wait, he's dead. Alright. Well, uh, fuck. I'm sorry, can you like cut this part out because it's my incompetence? Thanks. Angry. I'm pretty much gonna die before the end of this battle. Frick. Dude, if I die before the end of this frickin' battle, I'm gonna frickin' lose it. Oh my fucking god. Because I have no idea where that tunnel is. I don't know how to get back there. Oh my god. Frickin' eat my... Eat my socks. Oh well, it's open now. Frickin' great. Thank those heavens. I'm gonna say a word to you, it's gonna walk straight in. I know, I told you, I have to get my goon gear on. Let me get my goon gear. Can I freaking not use my skill while I'm not in battle? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I gotta find an enemy then, like I said. I hope it's a puny boy. Alright, ready to rock, ready to roll. Are you guys hyped? I hope so. I got my green hair on, got my goon digs on. Ready to go into the skate shop. Yeah? I mean, I read this one already, but it's all good. What? What? The GCE hasn't started yet. Everyone knows that getting here in the nick of time is the first rule of gaming, so get to it. What? What? If you want access, you'll have to pass the GCE. What? Oh! I'm like, I thought that was a freaking hole in the wall. <sighs> Another student, this is pretty unorthodox. 
Everyone knows the first rule of gooning is brush your teeth after every meal. I'm not sure how that's relevant, though, so I guess you can come in. Take a seat. Hello, Jimmy. You're about to take the goon etiquette and comp competency exam. I hope you've been paying attention to the rules of gooning. The GECE is a notoriously difficult multi-part exam. You get to see a multiple choice short answer and essay sections. While hundreds take the exam every year, only a few... Hey, you. I'm the instructor here, so don't talk in class. Frick you. That's the second rule of gooning, I think. Anyway, just watch this instructional video. Hey, information guy. You're here because you would like to join the Petty Thugs. The this diverse and exciting alliance of like-minded individuals offers promise of adventure, fun, and acts of thoughtless and unproved aggression. While the Petty Thugs do offer a wide range of mayhem, there is unfortunately not much room for upward movement in this organization. Currently, the only position available is low-level goon. The Goon Competency and et Etiquette exam is designed to test your ability to fill this important role in the Petty Thugs hierarchy. Before you take this exam, let's take a moment to review what it means to be a low-level goon. The following rules were determined by the founding members of the Petty Thugs, and they are meant to highlight the requisite strong work ethic, ethic can-do attitude, and willingness to succumb to peer pressure. <laughs> now, on to the first and most important rule of gooning. That guy won't shut up. And if I'm being honest, his stupid nerd face really pisses me off. Anyway, the exam's right in front of you. Just take it so I can go push someone around. Jimmy tries to read the exam, but all of the words are mixed up. So he circles the multiple choice answers at random and draws pictures of ninjas in the essay sections. Alright, that's probably enough time, I guess. I'm getting pretty impatient, honestly. Follow me to the next room for the second part of the exam. Aren't you going to collect our papers? What? Yeah, probably. Look, just follow orders. That's the first rule of gooning. I like that mustachey one. Me too, dude. Can I read the papers though? <laughs> nope. Can I turn on the TV? Nope. Oh man, I'm so nervous. I've wanted to be alone with a little goon my entire life. The cool jacket, the torn jeans, the green dyed hair, everything about them is just so awesome. I've studied the supplementary gooning manual for months. I had this outfit custom made. My mom really flipped her lid when she saw what I did to my hair. That's okay. Today's the day I'm going to become a low level goon. I can feel it. I hope you make the cut too. That's the first rule of gooning. Work together with your friends so you can achieve your dreams. Wow. It feels so good to say that. This is going to be the best day of my life. <coughs> Alright. Frick. So now, you need to jump into the sorting hole. It'll, I don't know, tabulate your results or something. I'm too cool to know how it works. So just do it. It's like Harry Potter. Nah. Crap! I cheated off that guy. Shut up and get in the hole. <laughs> it's all about the look. Yay, he got in. Stupid. Yummy. Sounds like I want to be a goon who's trash and dirty laundry. So, what I guess I passed the test? Yeah? Yeah, I'm a goon now. Oh man, I feel full of this sense of inner turmoil. Like I've got to shake something. I hear some shaking going around here. Hey Jimmy, I bet you're surprised to find me here. It's only been a short time, but I feel like I've already come a long way. I mean, here I am, facing my fears head on. But the thing is, I thought I was being really brave. But now that I'm here, I think everyone is just ignoring me. It's easy to ignore a little mouse. 
I'm not going to let that get to me though. I'm here, and that matters. And this is just the start. I'm going to s see so many great things on my journey. Oh, I'm proud of him. He seems to be having a good dream. Can I put in some tunes to wake him up? Hey dudes. Hello gentlemen. At where does the train swim this afternoon? Who is this guy? He seems like some kind of foreign dude who got lost and wound up here somehow. That makes me mad for some reason. He's not a real goon. Listen up, new meat. The first rule of gooning is stay out of my tent. Frick you, Dee Dee. Can I get you something, Jimmy? Probably. Hey guys, can I draw you? Hey, can't you see I'm doing important work here? I can. Alright. This guy got shit face. Ugh. Shut up, nerd! Stop! I'm one of you! Is this loser lost or something? Get lost, loser! Hey, what am I supposed to give to babies? Want some milk, baby? Well, too bad, baby. Mom, I don't have any milk. No, I feel bad for making you think I did. Give the kid his milk! In case you didn't notice, this is a hangout for really cool grown-up dudes. So we don't got no little baby milk for the little baby. We'll get some milk back home. New recruit? Don't forget the first rule of gooning. Come up with a really cool laugh. Me! New recruit? Don't forget It's Johnny Knives. One time, the boss smiled at me. I fainted on the spot. I lost a lot of rope that day. <laughs> I wanna play pool. I told Dee Dee she was smoking. She was a smoking hot babe, and got this uncontrollable urge to shake her. Then she kicked me in the face. I just don't get girls, man. Shake, shake, shake. Oh boy. No. <laughs> Look at this loser. Did he really think you could outsmart me? My name used to be Johnny Cats. Why? Because I sniff out every rat. Ahem. Okay. So what I meant to say was Dee Dee warned me that you'd infiltrated the base. And then she made me come up here. Also, you know, just to set the record straight, we used to call you Johnny Cats because you, like, really loved cats. You had, like, ten of them. Shut up. You're ruining my street cred. Anyway, I'm not Johnny Cats anymore. Know why they call me Johnny Knives? I'll give you two guesses. Give up? It's my knives. I carry them with me whenever, wherever I go. They're my greatest possessions. And I'll tell you something else. These knives are going to cut you into little pieces, Jimmy. That's right. We figured out who you are. Well, Dee Dee did. If you would have just stayed in your house like a good little boy, this wouldn't have happened. The boss even made us build the wall and dig that tunnel and make everyone be real nasty to you. But here you are. What a stupid little brat. You could be at home playing violent video games, but instead you're about to get your guts cut out. And your teeth kicked in. And your bones pounded flat. That's right. Get ready to be in all sorts of pain. Do it all. Alright. I like Johnny Knives. It's a good sprite. Johnny Knives. Buck psychs himself into a frenzy. 
You know, let's let's beat up Dee Dee first. She kind of gets on my nerves. She's too much of a know-it-all. Since she's like the smart one or whatever, I think we should beat her too. Cause she's probably the, the hardest one. Big enormous is holding me. <gasps> Boom. Jimmy just best. Jimmy's now level six. Not cool, man. How could a little punk like you beat us? But, but my knives. Johnny, my man. Remember rule number one. Keep you cool. Allow me to introduce myself, kid. My name is... Punch Tanaka. That was awesome, boss! It would have been more impressive if you hadn't crashed all those times. <laughs> ha ha! Uh, not in front of the kid. Um, anyway, let me tell you something about Punch Tanaka. Punch Tanaka rides on the free and wild dreams of youth. Punch Tanaka is the tiger caged in the heart of man. Punch Tanaka wears his shades all the time, even in the shower. I've got a hard lesson to teach you, kid. I'm cooler, tougher, and badder than you'll ever be. And now you've shown up in my neck of the woods. You've got some nerve, kid. That's a very Punch Tanaka way of living, and I respect that. I can see why we were hired to keep you in check. You know, the more I look at you, the more you look just like a little punch tanaka. When I was a kid, I used to be a total hellraiser. One time, I didn't take a bath for three weeks. You could use a cooler haircut though, and maybe some shades. No, this isn't the time for making new friends. This is the time for pummeling enemies. And make no mistake, Jimmy, you're my sworn enemy. An enemy. I've got an intense furnace of hatred for you into my gut. Why is there? Because I'm getting paid to hate ya. And more than anything Punch Tanaka goes where the money is. Don't look at me like that. With your childish eyes all filled with the naive hope for a better tomorrow. You're making the child in my heart cry. I can't take it anymore. I'm putting an end to this, Jimmy. The Reaper left me a message. It said, I'm Punch Tanaka and I'm coming for you, Jimmy. This guy's cool. He means business, though. I wouldn't mind getting a pompadour on Jimmy. That'd be good. <laughs> He's very vain, though. Oh, I don't need a high five quite that. I feel like the rage is a good way to go. I mean, it's a good way to go when you have multiple targets, but. It's cheap and it goes on for a while. But sometimes he hits Jimmy. What? Fuck. Alright, well. Seems like I'm gonna get out of this alive for sure. <laughs> I mean, we don't know yet, but Jimmy does like barely any damage on this guy. Well, I guess that's that. I guess that's the end of this episode. Thanks, guys, for watching, meeting Punch Tanaka with me. See you next time. Have a good week. Don't, don't get hurt. No. <laughs>